Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be getting round 100 on every single Black Ops 3 Zombies map. Black Ops 3 is my favorite game of all time. It's something I've always wanted to do is reach round 100 on every map, but it's just something I've never really gotten around to. This turned out to be a pretty humbling experience. I thought I was pretty good at zombies, you know, I've been playing it literally all my life. I thought, you know, this can't be that hard. Nah, nah, bro. Turns out, I'm definitely just average. I'm definitely just average. Like I said, this whole thing was humbling as hell. I went through some shit to get these round 100s. It was absolutely ridiculous. I'm talking worst case scenarios. Round 90 fucking 9. Power just went out for no fucking reason. And because I'm I'm just your average guy, I'm not cracked out of zombies like I thought I was. I'm going to split this up into a two-parter. So this video is just going to be Shadows of Evil, The Giant, and Derizon Drag. If you want to see a part two to this video where I do Go Rod, Zetsubo, and Revelations, I'm going to have to set like a, a ridiculous like goal, like 250 likes. And then I'll do those maps. Because after doing the first three maps, I am so burnt out, but if people want to see it, I'll do it. So leave a like if you want to see that, and comment down below if you've ever gotten round 100 before, and which map you got it on. So for the first map that we're going to get round 100 to, it's obviously going to be the first map that came out, and one of the best maps ever, Shadows of Evil. Now for me to say that I was rusty at Black Ops 3 Zombies would be an absolute understatement. I was literally dying at almost every step of the setup and I think I restarted the game before round 6 maybe 6 or 7 times and eventually I just gave up on the first day. Uh, no. Tonight is uh, not the night. I'm going to have to do this tomorrow. Holy shit. So the next day I got on, I pulled my shit together finally, I got set up on this map. And so I don't want to give y'all like the grand tutorial on how to get set up on this map, because honestly this map takes a little while to get set up, but just know I'm doing the waterfront district strategy where you keep that door closed. There are a bunch of tutorials out there on YouTube to tell you how to do it, but I'll give y'all the run through real quick. So first what you need to do is complete all four rituals, then come down to open up Pack-A-Punch. Once you get Pack-A-Punch open, just come over to grab your egg so you can start working on building the sword. Once you've filled up the egg with all the souls at the different statues that are on the map, you want to come pick up your sword and immediately after that you want to upgrade the sword. Upgrading the sword and unlocking Pack-A-Punch is easily what takes the longest in this setup. Then you want to get the shield, which is OP, and then after that we're just working on the pieces to get the Apothic and Servant. I get this first one out this purple pod right here, and then I think a few rounds later, I finally get one out of this meatball, this green pile of shit, thank the lord. Round 20, and once we have all three pieces, we go over and build the Apothic and Servant. You can build this wherever you want, just make sure the shield is in the water district. And this thing is what's going to carry us to to round 100 on this map. And the very last thing you need to get set up is the little Arnie's, which is easily attained in the box. Now for this strategy, uh, the Margwa is really not a problem whatsoever. Whenever he spawns in, just run down to the Civil Protector and throw a little Arnie where I threw it, and then summon him and he'll just, he'll just smash down on the ground and kill him in one shot. Now finally we get to the actual round 100 strategy and it's really, quite simple you just shoot the apothecan like right in front of you where i'm looking right now and then when you have the sword available you just pull it out and you just run kind of just back and forth and like just let it do its own thing and when you get a max ammo you just spray all the ammo that you have at the two spawn points in front of you i mean and that's really it bro. the strategy is really quite simple later on in the higher rounds i'd say late 50s and 60s you want to start like cycling your gobble gums for alchemical antithesis alchemical is like the reason the strategy is so damn easy like once you pop it especially you literally just spray it's it's like two free max ammos plus the fact that it lasts i think it's 30 seconds or a minute and for that whole 30 seconds to a minute you can literally just spray your pocket the entire time and just get so many kills and finish the round so fast now round 76 is literally a cursed round for me y'all will see later on but there's my first down of this game 
Um, to get out of that predicament, you know, I just threw my Arnie down and just ran out of there as fast as I could to try to go buy back all my perks. But on my way to Jug, I damn near almost almost folded completely getting red screen right before I got to Jug. I had to throw the rest of my little Arnies and then ended up coming back and picking up stamina up instead of speed coil this time because I was going to have to start training. And I did get my zombie shield back, which is the reason I died right there. Round 82 is also another cursed round for me. You will find out later in this video. But I don't know what's going on right here. Um, the sword is everything seems everything seems to be going well right here until until it doesn't, and I just take the dumbest down ever. I could have easily shot my apothecary servant right there and stayed alive. I had more than enough ammo, but for some reason I just didn't. When going for around 100 on most of these Black Ops 3 maps, I feel like luck definitely has a big factor in this shit because it's all about what gobble gums you hit. Right there, I didn't get a chemical and I'm like completely out of ammo, so I had to drop 250,000 points to hit the gobble gum machine again. But then luckily, I finally got alchemical. Then same exact situation right here. I only have two bullets left and I, and I have to spend half a million on the gobble gum machine and luckily, I get alchemical antithesis right there again. So by round 95, the, the rounds are getting so long at this point and I don't have an alchem, so where I have to start training around and using the blast furnace on my CUDA to help charge up my uh, Apothecan sword. But this is eventually what led to me absolutely folding on round 97. I think I'm the shit. I piss down my leg, I get scared, and I fucking downed. When I could easily save myself right there, but I don't know what I was thinking. So then after that, I started just training around by the tower because there's a lot more space here. And then it's same thing again, just using my blast furnace to help take out all the zombies. But once again, because I'm a mid-tier ass player, like I get stuck on the like the, the box spot right there. I can't train to save my life, and I don't know what it is. I eventually got so much better at it after it, but look at this. I got put in another situation where like I could have easily gone down, but thankfully for the Apothecan Servant, it saved me once again. And eventually, I made it to the end of the round, and I hit the Gobble Gum Machine again for immolation, and I did not get it. But luckily, a Margwa spawned in, and when I called in the Civil Protector, and he killed the Margwa, he got me a max ammo, which was absolutely clutch. And then I got extremely lucky once again and another max ammo dropped later on in the round. So that was able to help me complete round 98 and get to round 99. Maybe this is the start of a winning streak. But even though the max ammos were blessing me, the gobble gun machine was not blessing me at all whatsoever. It was not getting any alchemicals whatsoever. So I had to train around for a little bit to get my points up because I was just barely close enough to being able to buy another gobble gum, which was slightly over 500,000 and I was really, really close to it. And eventually I had enough, popped my in plain sight and boom, got my alchemical antithesis. I'm gonna count that as a win. Let's go. Now the next map up on the list is The Giant. Now The Giant is easily my most played map of all time. Not saying it's my favorite or anything, but I've easily played this map the most out of any other map ever. And I'm gonna be honest, trying to get round 100 on this map easily took years off of my life. Now this map has by far the easiest setup, but I would, I would say my opinion, the most annoying setup. Before I start ranting about it too fast, I'll just tell you what it is. You want to come over to the snow pile at the beginning of the game and shoot where I'm shooting. And if you hear glass breaking, then you got to end the game. Because that means dead shot is right there and you need stamina for this strategy. After that, you just got to get the monkey bombs and the wonder waft out of the box. That's really it. And then once you get the monkey bombs, you got to throw them and each of the three teleporters... This is what is going to allow you to access stamina up because once you throw in the last teleporter and you come back to spawn, you just click the red button and the big giant fucking laser beam just lasers the snow pile down and now you have stamina up. And so I guess I'll just throw this in just because, uh, but this is the end of my first game pretty much. Uh, just absolutely shit the bed and take my first down right here for absolutely no reason. 
And then 30 seconds later, this zombie just tanks five shots of the ray gun and just absolutely smacks the shit out of me. Now, the reason that I said that this setup was easily the most annoying is because you literally have to rely on luck to get the monkey bombs and the wonder off out of the box. I played one game until round 47 and never ended up getting the monkey bombs. And here's my second attempt at the giant. Um, pick up this insta kill, clear out the horde, and get absolutely bitch slapped. And I, I went down on an insta kill, which is like a mortal sin within it of itself. And just for me to do it again 10 seconds later. Nice. Now, once you get the Wonder Wolf, the strategy for this map is really quite simple. You kind of just sit up here in like this main pad area and just shoot your Wonder Wolf. Just kind of spam that thing. And if you're seeing here, I'm doing this grenade reload cancel. And this has got me killed so many times trying to go for this. It was actually unbelievable. It was either that I was trying to reload cancel or I was trying to insta swap between my guns. I would fuck up and like accidentally throw my grenade and get some weird animation and then the zombies would just down me every time. And so in this clip right here, I kind of got trapped going to get stamina up and I could just completely piss down my legs. The lights were too bright and I went down again and ended that run right there and then. But I wasn't about to give up. I kept trying the game after that. I'm training around get red screened and then get absolutely blindsided by this fucking zombie that just came out of nowhere and just ended another run mid 40s like i'm an average player so one thing that makes the giant difficult to get to round 100 on is the fact that not many things give you drops like insta kills and max ammos on this map you have to rely on your aats because the wonder off doesn't give you drops and certain aats like deadwire don't give you drops either in this game i'm running turned which is i mean not that good i should have been using blast furnace i switched to it eventually but but here i am again on round 76 the most cursed round in history and i see this dog spawn in and just absolutely shit the bed i mean made zero adjustments i saw him spawn in i could have thrown a monkey pulled out the wonder off but nah i just sat there like a deer in headlights and just just ate it and if that wasn't bad enough you can just see the dog is just standing on there flexing on me like he just dunked on my ass i mean and and honestly he did he did he fucked me up now i wasn't done yet i came back the next day got back to the same spot that i basically was 77 i beat the curse of round 77 and it was chilling i was running blast furnace this time everything was going good but then i got to round 81 or like 82 and like left i left to go eat or something i don't even remember but i just know that when i got back i forgot to record and i only got my reaction i'm a dumbass i am a dumbass fuck so once again, I powered through and I made it back to round 76. And I don't know what it is about round 76 and round 82, but I literally can't keep my shit together when I'm on these rounds. And again, I take another down on round 76 because some zombie jumped up to the ledge and I just stubbed my toe in his face. So obviously I went to go back and try and get my perks, but Quick Revive was literally in the worst spot back in that corner. And a bunch of zombies ran out, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to risk it. I'm I'm gonna try and finish this finish this round without picking that up but i completely forgot about the curse of round 76 and just absolutely ate it once again another solid three to four hours wasted but once again i powered through made it back and finally beat round 76 but as you can kind of see right here at this point i completely i completely folded i just started i put on some mega gobble gums because i was just sick of it i was over 20 hours deep of just trying to play this map over and over and over she was pissed me off man i mean can't really blame me but uh i mean honestly these gobble gums do make it like stupidly easy one thing that i will say that makes this map more difficult than other round 100s is the fact that it's really hard to get power-ups even i even even when i have power vacuum on i'm not getting drops from the wonder Wolf. i'm not getting drops from my rk5 when i have insta killed the only way that you get drops is 
is from getting kills with certain AATs. And for my instance, I was using Blast Furnace. And then as you can see here, finally made it past round 83. I broke the goddamn curse. Fucking finally. And I'm just sitting there like an absolute bot, bro. No reaction. I'm in so deep, I don't even care anymore. So one thing I learned from these high rounds is obviously you gotta be locked the fuck in at all times. Because right here, I think shit's sweet. You know, I have my power vacuum just chilling, spraying my death machine. But then two seconds later, I just get ran up on from behind. And this is because when I'm hitting the gobble gum at the beginning of the round, zombies will spawn in this barrier and then jump over the fence at the beginning of every round. So that's just something you got to watch out for when you're hitting the gobble gum at the beginning of the round. If you're not hitting the gobble gums, then you're completely fine. So after many, many hours of gameplay, many failed attempts, I have finally made it to round 99. And I finally catch a break on round 99. I get a dog round, which means this shit is wraps round 100 is secure let's go let's go let's go max ammo max, ammo, max killing yes oh my god thank the lord Oh, hell yeah. That took forever for no reason at all. And finally, next up on the list and last for this video, we have Dorizon Drag. Dorizon Drag is probably my favorite map on black ops 3 and i think a lot of people would agree i mean this shit is just goaded i mean i don't know what else to say i've played this map a ton and i and i feel like it just appeals to all players high rounders casuals just anybody who likes playing zombies will definitely like playing this map So I would assume that everybody who's ever played this map like knows how to get set up and what they need to do. Obviously you just come, you fill up the, all the dragons with souls and then you go pick up your bow and then you start upgrading whatever path you want to do. But for this strategy, you want to do the lightning bow. And I'm going to be honest, when I normally played this map back in the day, I was the designated fire bow guy. So now that I have to do the lightning bow, I practically had almost no idea on how to fucking even get the goddamn thing. Hi guys, Mr. Ruffles here. No nonsense, lightning bow upgrade guide. Let's go. So good old Mr. Roth Waffles to the goddamn rescue. Cause uh, I mean, I knew these steps, but I had, it had been so long, I had completely forgotten them. I mean, and this is really one of the easiest bows to get. The steps, the steps to get it are really straightforward and you can get them done at such an early round. Like I'm sure someone who's never played this map and plays it for the first time could probably get this bow upgraded. You know, obviously watching the tutorial, but this, this is such an easy bow to get done. And so for the rest of this setup, all you really need to do is just get the Ragnaroks, buy whatever perks you wanna get. Uh, I, I started off using Double Tap, Jug, Quick Revive, and Electric Cherry, but but I ended up changing that later on. And then you'll basically just be camping at the top of these stairs for the rest of the game. And you just want to shoot down at them. Normally you want to shoot up at the shield that's up on the wall on the left. But I just started off by just shooting straight at the ground. It really doesn't matter. This strat is pretty, pretty simple. Now for some reason for me, the hardest part about this strategy was this goddamn panzer. Even though it's easy to kill him and the strategy to kill him is pretty simple. I ended up fumbling this so many times. All you need to do is turn the trap on and just shoot him in the in the chest and he should go down but for some reason it took me a little while to get used to this strategy and i fumbled the bag so hard so many times so here's me fucking up the first time he spawns in i'm literally already scared i pause the game i'm like holy shit here he comes turn the trap on and for some reason i think i'm still taking damage from like the fire that he shot at me but no it was just like some dog behind me completely tore my ass up so i ended up getting jug and quick back i lure him back in i get him in the trap and i think all right i'm chilling just gonna beam him down but i think since i don't have double tap the krm is just horrible 
Like without double tap, this thing is absolutely god awful against the Panzer. And he just literally comes at me and just burns my face off. So at this point, I'm pissed. I'm like, all right, dude, whatever. It's either me or the Panzer. I'm going after his ass straight up. Not even getting my perks. Slam the Ragnaroks down. Dog almost bites my ass again. And I just start spraying him with a lightning bow, which actually doesn't do anything at all. It takes like 10 full powered shots just to take him out. And while he's in the Ragnarok, like dude is just OP for no reason whatsoever. But then I finally get him down, oh, red screen again. So you really want to make sure that you handle the Panzer well, or else he will cause you problems. So this was the last draw for the KRM right here. I mean, I just cut him right off my roster after this, man. It was unacceptable. You might say that was my fault. That gun blows, whatever. I got an upgrade and that upgrade is the Brecky, 10 million times better than the KRM for killing the Panzer. So here we are once again on round 76 and I'm telling you bro the game is trying to fuck me over in every way possible because this shit was ridiculous. Calling the trap just absolutely runs through it. I run in the trap again like a dumbass. Get red screen. Somehow don't die right there. Get hit again on the red screen and somehow got out of there. Just complete fluke. I don't even know. That whole thing was just bugged. Panzer didn't die. I didn't die off red screen. I don't know. The game fucked me and then the game saved me simultaneously. And then here's the Brecky actually putting in work on the Panzer. Just absolutely dogging him as he should. That absolute lunatic. So here's the strategy again, just to show y'all me on a later round, round 76, of course. Don't worry, I don't die this time. But you just sh you just shoot that shield right there every every five seconds, maybe a little less than that. Whenever you feel like it, honestly, it doesn't matter. Just keep shooting the shield. It'll come down, kill the zombies. And then for me, what I was doing is when you get the Ragnaroks, just kind of slam them down at the top of the stairs and it'll just get a bunch of kills for you. Super easy. And whenever a dog spawns in over there, just pull out your shotgun, just shoot them. It'll one shot them every time. Now in the later rounds, I decided to get Mule Kick and get a third gun to put Blast Furnace on it because at this point you're running out of ammo kind of fast. So you might need to train around a little bit, but it's super easy because you can just train in the courthouse and there's a bunch of space turn on that trap if you want to and yeah just train around with the m8 use your blast furnace and you'll be straight the only thing you want to look out for is the dogs because they can't cut you off but if that happens just shoot your bow on the ground and you'll be chilling so everything in this game had been going according to plan besides the panzers a few times like kind of screwed me over everything was chilling until round 97 now look some would say that i may have fucked up right here by switching my guns but all i'm gonna say is I did watch a video and apparently there's a lightning bow glitch where it does not kill zombies and that's easily what had to have happened here because this down was absolutely ridiculous. So believe it or not, me dying on round 97 was literally just the tip of the iceberg. And look, what I'm about to say sounds ridiculous, but I swear on my life, this is what happened next. Literally right after that game, I was not having it. I was so pissed. I went right back into another game of Dragon Drag and made it all the way to round 99 to where then shit literally hit the fan. I was on round 99. It literally had just turned to a dog round. There was like two or three dogs left. And then out of nowhere, the power literally flickered, went out for one fucking second, one second. And all my setup turned off and turned right back on again. Cause the power only went out for one second. This shit happens all the time at my crib, bro. It's like at the electric company, whenever they hire new people, they just bring up, they bring them over to like my area. They like cut off our power and they just tell the new guys like, all right, we're going to be testing on this unit today. Might have wiped out a couple hundred houses, but that don't mean shit. We do it all the time. They have no idea. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I know. I can't make this shit up. Round 90 fucking 9. Power just went out for no fucking reason, bro. It was a dog round. The dogs were running at me, bro. I had to kill three more. It was round 100, bro. The fucking power just went out. Holy... I couldn't make this shit up, bro. I literally... I can't make this shit up any fucking more, dude. There's absolutely no way that just fucking happened. Holy fuck. Bro, so the fucking game, look at this. It kept my level, but it didn't It didn't keep the round, obviously. It gave me liquid diviniums. 
This is fucking unreal, bro. But even after all that, I was not gonna let this shit just go out and just take me out sad like that. But I did go out sad a little bit because at this point I just threw on some Megas again. Just just to save time, honestly, because I had done it the first time with just classic gobble gums but here you see made it to round 99 once more and then round 99 i get a dog round again thank the lord all i had to worry about was this panzer but that was no problem at all and so finally after failing on round 97 and then round 99 i had done it let's go that's fucking right i did it who do you think you are i am oh my god Zero downs, flawless run, 20 long hours, probably even more, bro. Shmoney.